talk about it. Let's talk about weed. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is most definitely the most humbling and um, vulnerable video I've ever made. But God told me to do this. He said, if I pull you out of something, and it's something you give me glory for, and something that gives me glory, share the good news. Share the good news. So here I am. And I just want to talk to you today about being a Christian and weed. Okay, so I want to start this video off by saying that... I love everyone. I do not judge anyone. I really don't, okay? So do not take this in that type of fashion that I'm coming across as um, you're a terrible human being, you dirty, rotten sinner if you smoke weed. That's not the case at all. I truly believe that God has a timeline for each of us and things happen at their natural occurrence according to His will. So. This is just my personal story with it. Okay, so I loved weed. I loved weed um, for about four years. And um, it started by kind of like uh, smoking weed like every other day, a little bit, um, to every day, to twice a day. Yeah, and um, then when I gave God my yes, I was like, I thought, like multiple people think, um, this is something, an herb that God created naturally on this earth. It's not that bad. Like, weed is not that bad. Um, like, it's a function. It just makes me extra creative and extra happy. And um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with weed, right? I mean, then um, it hit me. Uh, God gave me a revelation of uh, idols and what we turn to for peace. What do you turn to for peace? And uh, I turned to weed for peace. What do you turn to for joy? I turned to weed for joy. It made me happy. It made me forget my problems. Yes, it did. And um, I was like, God, why do I gotta give up weed? You know, like, um, it just makes me happy. It doesn't, I'm not hurting anyone because of it. No one's ever died from weed. No one's ever died from weed. And um, he said, is it your idol? Do you turn to it before you turn to me? And um, it just, I really felt heavy about it, like really heavy about it. Like I don't feel, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. And then I came across Jackie Perry, a poem about weed. And woo Jesus, woo! He used Jackie Perry as a vessel. He used Jackie Perry as a vessel. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. If you're questioning, some little conviction and you just don't know and you need something to convince you as if the Lord isn't already screaming it enough in your face and you're just trying to hold on to the things of your flesh you're just trying to hold on or find every reason to hold on to things of your flesh go watch a poem about weed by Jackie Hill Perry from that moment on I never smoked weed again it's been four months now I find my joy in so many other things. I find joy in so many other things now. Revelations of Him is mind blowing and it's so exciting. Like I cannot even explain to you. I cannot explain to you the revelations of His mercy, of His grace, of His peace. It overtakes you, it brings you so much joy and it's not even just about weed. 
This could be about anything that you're holding on to that you find your joy in, that you find peace in that's not God. He doesn't want us to find your joy and our peace through other things in the world. He wants us to find it through Him. This is real. This is raw. I was going to make this super all like fancy and include the Bible verses and all the things, but I'll include all that in the caption. This is just real raw me. I'm just, this is just life. This is just my life. This is God's story. This is what He's done for me, and I just wanted to share it in hopes that it will help even one person find your joy and find your peace of this world in a way that is a much more beautiful way of life filled with way more authentic joy than having to turn to something of our flesh revisiting it. Thank you.